Ashley Selman, owner of Evolution Trainers in Mountain View, California, and I'm here today with Stephanie Stafford, owner of Stafford Fitness. And Stephanie is going to talk to us today about the importance of how much and when to eat for training. As we know, nutrition is a huge component to um, performance, and Stephanie's going to talk to us a little bit more about that. All right. Thanks, Ashley. Sure. Well, for starters, a lot of endurance athletes think, I'm out there, I'm training, I need to eat a lot of food. But I need to let you know that if you're not going to be out for a training bout over 90 minutes, you really don't need to take in any extra calories. So that one hour run or that one hour ride in the middle of the week, you're probably fine with just water and some electrolytes. However, once you go over 90, there is a simple formula to follow. In the first hour, it's about 20% of your average caloric burn, and every hour after that is about 30% of your average caloric burn. So I need How do you to figure out your, caloric, your average caloric burn? What is that? Well, a lot of people will actually use a heart rate monitor and then that'll track their calories. And so if you have a good idea after you've done a couple of rides, a couple of runs, and you know about how many calories on average, most people I'm going to say are around four to 600 calories an hour. So let's say, say you're burning about 500 calories an hour. You eat 20% of that mm -hmm. per hour? For the first hour. So it's about 100 okay. calories in your first hour and then about 150 every hour after that. Okay. So for Great. a three-hour ride, that's 400 calories. I never knew that formula. That's brilliant. Okay, I love that. All right, well, that is very helpful. So take that on the next time you're going out for some of your long endurance training, and uh, we'll see you again for some future segments with Stephanie on how to maximize your endurance. Thank you.